Cancer and Biochemistry 19, the Citric Acid Cycle, and Arginine, Glutamine, Histidine, and Proline. Hello, it's March 27, 2019. I am Dr. Colleen Huber, here again in my ongoing video series, Cancer and Biochemistry. In each one of these videos, I examine an aspect of cancer metabolism that looks at technical considerations, plus practical applications in our everyday lives that can help us reroute our metabolism away from the cancer machinery. My goal is to look at the best ways that the individual can defend themselves and their family against the major risk factors leading to cancer. We have talked about general aspects of the metabolic pathways shown in this chart from Sigma Aldrich. We have seen that the mitochondrion, this yellow blob here, really the energy producer of the body, is necessary for your normal metabolism. That is, it must be abundant and healthy. With something like 10,000 electron transport chains in each mitochondrion under optimal conditions, those 10,000 electron transport chains are hungry to bring metabolism into the mitochondria rather than an alternate pathway, such as this one, for example, which would be the cancer pathway. So we want to feed this machine because this is the normal machine. This is the alternative to cancer. So let's go with this one, please, not that one that goes off to the right. We also saw that when pathways inside the mitochondria are blocked, that is, if there are obstacles here, like not enough nutrients, plus an abundance of sugar in the system, the metabolism is forced over here to the cancer pathway, going off in this direction. Then, in the last video, we saw that the citric acid cycle, which is a necessary part of normal, healthy metabolism, requires a lot of different amino acids in order to keep functioning well. This slide from BioInfo shows where a lot of these amino acids come into the citric acid cycle. Even though the citric acid cycle goes around and around, it doesn't mean that there is no value to all this activity. Rather, we take many amino acids in order to drive this cycle or to get it moving around because we need to oxidize acetyl-CoA and to harvest or make use of the end products of the citric acid cycle. And these are quite useful. How so? Well, the two important products that we derive from the citric acid cycle are NADH and FADH2. The benefit of that is that these two molecules each have electrons available to be used in the electron transport chain. In turn, that drives oxidative phosphorylation. So what starts all this activity are the amino acids that feed the citric acid cycle. So again, we get these amino acids from the proteins that we eat. Proteins are very long and convoluted chains of amino acids strung together. Some of them we can make inside of our bodies, but really only if we have eaten enough whole natural foods to have the necessary raw materials. Other amino acids, such as histidine, must be obtained from food. That is, we need to eat proteins, which can be broken down into those amino acids that we need. Carbohydrates are just not going to cut it as far as getting all of the proteins you need to break down to the necessary amino acids. You actually have to eat protein as well. Today I want to look at four amino acids, arginine, glutamine, histidine, and proline. What they have in common is they all go directly to form glutamate, which is the last step before alpha-ketoglutarate, which is a very important intermediate in the citric acid cycle. Let's look first at arginine. Turkey and pork seem to be the most abundant in arginine. Chicken, pumpkin seeds, and peanuts also have quite a bit of arginine. Then there's histidine, another amino acid which also plays a role against inflammation. Histidine is abundant in beef and cheese. Next is glutamine. This is a hugely important amino acid. It is the most abundant amino acid in all food, so you pretty much get glutamine in every meal. Your intestines love glutamine because they are constantly repairing, replacing, and rebuilding and glutamine is the most essential building block. Your muscles also use glutamine to rebuild after exercise. Proline is an amino acid, which is also very helpful together with vitamin C in building collagen, which you might think of as the bricks and mortar that you are made of. Here is a molecule of collagen from MIT. These are in strong cables with a lot of cross links, so it's a really good structural material. Glutamate is that final product of all these amino acids before going into the molecule alpha-ketoglutarate, which is in the citric acid cycle and gets us moving around with that. 
As before, in order to work out a specific nutritional program that is most appropriate for you as an individual, given your activity level, age, and health condition, please see your local naturopathic physician. Here are some resources for finding such an ND or NMD in your area, naturopathic.org and primarydoctor.org. This is Dr. Colleen Huber. It's March 27, 2019, and thanks for watching.